gonna spend a good amount of time in the car for a while because I think we're gonna go do the Cades Cove loop. Assuming it's not closed. We checked Twitter. They said the road is still open. So Cades Cove time. We made it further than we did yesterday. The road is open. That is a very good sign. Speed limit 30, that's a real good sign. <laughs> made it as far as the visitor center yeah a little muddy on the ground so let's try not to slip d got real excited because people have ice cream <laughs> oh help me ice cream and souvenirs oh. you and your ice cream okay now on this brisk autumn day she is ready yes all right now it's time to drive the loop There's a very famous um, information booth. Uh -oh. <laughs> Closed at dusk. 11 miles. All right, we have entered the one-way portion. No turning back now. All right, this is about as fast as you go in Cades Cove. Zero miles an hour. There's horses. All right, I'm going five, you know. Do they look ice cream? <laughs> Ma'am, you're gonna have to enunciate more than that because that sounded like you said some bad words. You have to have a snap. Okay. It's, it's a really long loop, and yeah. there's about a thousand cars in front of us. One thousand cars. It's pretty cool though. There's already horses, and yeah. I can see how you can see, you know, stuff over there. She can see. Things. I could see nice how game. you'd see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, they are petting a horse. No, no, no. no yeah, no. you're supposed to use authorized pull-offs, and then people have just stopped in the road. Um, okay. You know. The rules don't apply. Hey, I mean, you know, horses. I don't think they're supposed to be petting them. Horses. Didn't it say not uh, to do that? Yeah, that's probably a no. I mean, 50 feet. I like animals too, but. So free admission, but they do have donation boxes. For sure. Okay, got some bird action. Look at me. Dia's going to be in photo mode. Well, they kind of blend in really well. They do. That's, yep. Yeah, how you attract birds. Now we're getting ready to ford a river. Oh, we really are. Oh, My window's down. Closed? Oof. That's why it was closed. Guys. Probably why it was closed yesterday. Mm. Well, we made our first stop here at John Oliver Cabin. I guess it's about a quarter mile hike up to the cabin. So we'll see. We're working out some signals with Mike and Robin because we're in two different cars of like figuring out what we want to stop at. I mean, we'll stop at most everything to investigate it. Cabin quarter mile. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a guy got bit by a horse as we were driving by. We heard through the closed windows and a horse bit him. Anyway. All right, one quarter mile through the woods. Let's try it. That's not scary. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just got tricked into hiking again. I don't know how this keeps happening, but. Treacherous, squishy conditions. She is picking some interesting footing up there. Ma'am, I'm not following your lead. I don't know why we put you in charge. Um, that tree has seen better days. Oh. All right, I think we found a cabin. Two days later. Ah. <laughs> Bob, this is like some sort of parable or something. Don't be like Bob. Ah, uh, because he wrote his name. Words, 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 words. Cool. I learned everything. I am not taking you to a museum. Rude. Don't write your name on the inside. I think we'll be okay. Oh gosh, they're covered under the stairs. So wait, are you going upstairs? Let's don't. Oh gosh, let me move. 
<laughs> but I want to go upstairs. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's a dark spin. There no, we go. Going to choke you. Robin volunteered as tribute. <laughs> All right, my fun fact I learned about this cabin is that it is held together by notches in the wood frame and its own weight. It requires no nails or pegs to stay in place. Oh, wow. See, I'm full of fun facts. How about that? Reddit. Shh. Whatever. I mean, I didn't know John Oliver personally. Whoa, well, shit lies. Fences are cool. Mm. How are you? So we're gonna put some of these fences in our front yard, huh? Um. Yeah. All right. She's gonna build them herself, though. That's okay. cool. We can make fences like that. Sure. Poor lost. Yo, I think somebody got eaten by a bear over there. All that's left is their pretty pink coat. Oh, poor girl. Anyway, yeah, we can wander back through the field to the parking lot. That's our cars. Not all of them. We only own one of them. <laughs> but yes. We made it back to the car. Let's go somewhere else. Ice cream's melting, y'all. It's tragedy. I'm looking for bears out my window. Y'all, let me know. Put in the comments below if you see any bears and we'll stop. That's not how YouTube works. I heard one, though. It's a, it's a grizzled D bear. Hey, uh, boo boo. Oh, okay, bye. Picnic basket? All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Our stop number two is the Primitive Baptist Church. Dee is going in the woods to see if she can get some pictures and get the whole building in one frame because we're a little close right now, but you know, we'll just pan around, have a little look at it. Take me to church. Oh, okay, no. I know, they need the organ, the pianer. I guess in case the preacher's real short, I gotta give me a little step stool back there. I'm not sure what that's all about. What are you, what's out there? <laughs> wow, cool. Wow. A little donation box. Well, that's very much like a church. Pass the plate. <laughs> it's appropriate. <laughs> Rude. Oh my gosh, everybody's trying to take pictures at the same time. Look at me getting all this pretty footage and they're just like, get out my picture, get out my picture. All right, we're gonna continue the circuit. I know there's a couple of other churches. Methodist Church should be coming up next and then another Baptist church. Let's keep on churching. Oh, we got some traffic jam happening. Everybody wants to go to the Methodist Church. Methodist. Methodist. Next up, Methodist Church. Very pretty. Yeah. Music. Well, they've got the piano in this church. Okay. Seen some better days. Nice. Uh oh. I only know how to play a couple of songs. All right. After this, we should have one more church. But I guess they do still have services in this church every so often. I don't know if it's just for holidays or something like that, but that's kind of cool. She said Easter sometime. Okay. And I've learned I cannot play the piano. <laughs> in other news. Yeah. yeah. Updates. Updates <laughs> for now. Where's all the bears? All right. Third church, Missionary Baptist Church. There is no one else at this stop, so either we picked a terrible, terrible church to come see, or, you know, I mean, it is kind of down at the end of the loop. We've already passed both shortcuts where you can make an early escape from Cade's Cove. They all look pretty similar. In I mean, you know. I mean, it's a church. Oh, no. What the heck? That's not the kind of donations we needed. Oh, gosh. Okay, no one's allowed to enter the church until she takes all her pictures. Wow. Yeah, this looks like it's been kind of like remodeled. I guess maybe they do services in here too. But yeah, this whole front part looks, I don't know, new. Yes, please open your hymnals to page 175. Nearer, my God, to thee. All right, time to hit the road again. Got to come get the selfie with the sign first, though. You know how it is. Transitional driving footage. Wow, wow. Oh, hey, bridge. All the good shots. This is a good time of day, too. 
Welcome to, I guess, the approximate halfway point. Uh, we are at the other visitor center, about halfway around the loop. And there's some stuff to see here, so. Anyway, we skipped a couple of the sites that required, like, a hike, because, you know. <laughs> there was another cabin that was like a half mile hike. We're like, hmm. Anyway. <laughs> So we've got a few buildings scattered around this complex. Cool. Well, I guess we'll start here and see what this is. Oh, okay. Okay, Mamily claimed a room. Oh. Becky Cable House, okay. Room in the room to the right or original to the building. Cool. That's my room. Yep. The, the warm room. <laughs> this is where you will not be cold. It's like a mansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, there's another little room. Oh. oh, more words. Aunt Becky. Mm -hmm. Almost full house. So we'll wander back and see what's back here now. Exploring. Yeah. It's like spelunking, but you know, in a town. Can it be like spelunking? Yeah. Is there another word for exploring that's not? I mean, that sounds cooler than exploring. Yeah. Okay, we're exploring. Kind of a creepy looking structure. This will be like a garage. You keep your cars under there? Uh, keep maybe. Your wagons under there. Maybe not. True. Yeah. D is cold out here. <laughs> what in the world? There's three. There's three. Our back seat is covered in coats and jackets. There's only three. <laughs> Somebody has cold all the time. It's keeping and me it's warm. it's not me, I know. <laughs> We're outside, but it's just for like face warmthness. True. Look at the bears. Here's a historic stump. You won't find any bears in there, but I'm sure it's very historic. Cool, I guess this is the actual mill portion. The wheel's not really spinning, but I assume you could, you know, mill some stuff in there. Corn. Sure. Make corn fritters. Exactly. No corn fritters. Please, I need more corn fritters. I'm sure there's none at the house. Yeah, they're mm. gone. <laughs> we sent the leftover corn fritters home with AJ and Fluffy, so pretty much guaranteed to be gone at this point. Wild hog trap. I mean, not that whole building, but you know, that, that thing over there is a wild hog trap. All right, time to hit the road. We're gonna finish the slowest 11 miles I've ever driven in my life, but it's awesome. <laughs> fast driving but it's blah, 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 blah. so now we have Don Lawson place I assume this is a place where Don Lawson lived just you know using my big brain genius yeah my fun fact here I guess is that apparently brick chimneys were almost unheard of at the time of these homes were constructed so brick chimney fascinating also fascinating the way that all these teeny tiny little rocks hold these houses up hmm. Yeah, these doors are not um, tall people friendly. Oh, help! Oh gosh, Robin's already been upstairs. What's up there? Is there, is there a coffee shop up there or something? Oh, there's a drive-through window. Maybe that's the coffee shop. Yeah, lots of random modern graffiti. They told them not to be like Bob, but you know, people don't listen. See what's in the backyard here. Okay. It's a um, it's a guest suite. Oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna be like the biggest like bathroom or something out here. Or, well, I mean anything can climb in your house. You would love that. You love all the nature and all the animals. I mean, just let them creep under the floor and come see you. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is probably a horse stable, yeah. not an airplane hangar, as D seems to think. It could be. I mean, you just get your private jet and store it in there. Yeah. Totally a thing in like the 1800s. They're flying. In 1800s, yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Don't learn history from nope. us. Nope. Ever. Fun fact: They did use hot air balloons to fly in the 800, 1800s. I don't know about <laughs> 800, the 800s, 800. but at least the 1800s. Y'all don't learn fun facts from us. Don't Pretty sure airplanes didn't come around until about 1903. <laughs> Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark expedi um, expedition to the airplane. Orville and Wilbur Red Redenbacher. Wright. Orville and Redenbacher invented popcorn in, in 1903. Lewis and Clark. What is wrong with me? We, you know what? Don't listen to us. No. 
ever. <laughs> Just keep watching, it's more entertaining. No, oh boy. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> the grand adventure continues. We're gonna mosey on to a couple of more stops. Pretty sure we haven't seen any bears yet, but you said you've we, had plenty of birds. Birds. No, we, we did see a bear we, on the way. Oh, yeah, I did not like see it. Like 20 minutes before we actually got here, but yeah. we didn't have cameras out. But it was an actual bear. Dang. It was a little one sitting on the we ground. We were just sitting, mm. looking at everyone. Well, because to him, they're an attraction, too. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Uh, the people, too. I forgot. Emily was back there, too. Emily. Yeah, but you just keep you just keep saying burr, 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 and I'm like where? But you're like no, I'm cold. I think the reason we're not seeing them is because they're cold and they're hibernating already. Because they're like, dang, it's winter. Because it dropped like 30 degrees. It could be. Burr. All right, there's a burr, y'all. We gotta go. <laughs> a little random cabin. Well, I guess this is our next stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like a big structure of buildings here. The parking lot's tiny, so click, click. We're gonna see if we can find some parking. Oh, he told you. To go. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of buildings here at the Tipton Place. Big barn, big house on this side of the road. And more stuff over on this side of the road. So let's explore. Right. Take a little wander through. Oh, look at that thing. That's my one car garage. <laughs> Your private plane hanging. Yes. It could be. Hey, here's my car. Um, that I keep in my garage. You probably need an upgrade. I mean, it, it needs a tune-up, you know. <laughs> need to take it to the shop a little bit. <laughs> Where? Oh, well, that's skull. another one of those burrs again. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Barn spin. Have we ever had a barn spin? Probably not. Do we need one? Probably not. Why is she trying to fall in the river? She was just going back there doing the <sighs> Y'all, we got it. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing down there? I can't hear you. What? You're gonna fall in the creek. It's not like I'm gonna drown. But you'll be wet and colder, and you'll see more burrs. I have three coats in the car. It's fine. <sighs> I made it. All right, fine. Woo! Burr. Stop it. <laughs> Let's check out this homestead. Oh yeah. Oh, we found her fireplace room again. <laughs> It's not lit though. At night, the bears come in here and this is like their house. Mm. <laughs> ah! You should go to Africa. Oh, the doorways are short in Africa. At the cloister. Oh, there's a mic out there. Thought I saw Sasquatch. Hmm. Let's see how many bars we have out here. Uh, here we go. I guess they got the stone chimney over here, so they couldn't get that fancy brick chimney going. Yeah. Yeah, there's only like five or six parking spots across the road for this site, which is weird because this is like a real big popular site, but maybe they couldn't create any overflow parking. All right, I think we got one more that we might be stopping at on the, uh, before we get out of here. We'll see. Right, we're losing our light out here a little bit. It's getting to the golden hour. Look at all them golden trees. Alrighty, got another traffic jam. Either people are looking at bears up here well, then you let us look. Or they're just, you know, something. I don't know. Waiting for parking. Dang it. All right, last stop, I believe, on the trail. Carter Shields Cabin. That's cute. That's really cute. I like those. That is a really cute little cabin. Oof. <laughs> oh, I'm... Yeah. 2020, why y'all still leaving graffiti? Stop it. Well, yeah, this is just a little one-room cabin. Fireplace, of course, you know, this is the, the full tour of the cabin here. Nice back door leading out to the spacious weekly finger yard. Finger? Oh, we can't talk anymore. Nice big yard, though. It's a little crick. It's a crick, right? Crick running through it. I'm looking for bears. Oh. The sun is slowly starting to leave the sky, and we are getting ready to leave Cade's Cove but not without a super slow, majestic creek spin. This is perhaps the slowest creek spin in the history of creek spins. Majestic. All right, that's enough of that. Y'all, it's dark. We've driven all over the place. We decided, you know what? We're a little tired of Southern food, so let's try something a little different. And we came to 
Lil Tokyo. You know, you can't read that because it's not really focused. Let's change that. There we go. But they have about an hour and 15 minute wait, so we got a lot of time to kill. It's popular, but we want some hibachi. So for now, we're on a road trip down a dark side alley, which always seems like a good thing yeah. to do. But Mike and Robin know of a good cupcake place down here, so we're going to start with dessert tonight. Okay, Gigi's Cupcakes open. Oh, that's not what it's called. Oh, man. It's like a smorgasbord of cupcakes. Guys, we finally saw a bear. First bear I've actually seen all day. Cute. This is taking longer. Let's break in this bad boy. I know, we need some dramatic music. All right, so you got pumpkin roll, and I got Kentucky bourbon. So pretty. I don't know, it is. Well, update to the update. We came up here to sit next to Little Tokyo to eat our cupcakes, went in and checked, and he said, 10 minute wait now. So, wow, that cut like an hour off of our time. So we went in there, flexed our muscles, and we're like, give us a table. We hungry. No, I think they just had some cancellations. Anyway, so Cupcakes went in the car and we're gonna go eat some hibachi. A lot of food, but that was delicious. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I ate all mine. <laughs> it's real dark, but we are back at the cabin. You know what? We're gonna say good night. We are full of sushi and Japanese food. It was so good. It was a nice change from southern food. It really was. <laughs> it was good. Anyway. Good night, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. We're blurry. It's fine. It's good. Bye. See ya.